Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Band of Brothers Texas Arrows, the Deluxe Edition. This is an expansion for uh, Screaming Eagles and or Ghost Panzer. So you can, you get this as upgrades, gives you some new counters and some new scenarios. Some you can play with just Ghost Panzer, some you can play with just Screaming Eagles, and some you need both. So it's better to have both and then add this one to it. But let's just dig in, see what you get inside the Deluxe Edition, which is the third iteration. Um, I'm going to take it back. This is actually for Texas Arrows. This is the second iteration. The first was the Remastered Edition, which is when it came out um, and added to the system with the Remastered Editions of, uh, of the two base games. And then this one uh, has now been deluxified with the release of uh, with the Old Breed. The whole series got a facelift. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what you get inside of this one. All right. There's not going to be much in this box, I'll tell you that, because it is, like I said, it is an expansion for the other, the other games. It's kind of nice that they, you know, it's the same size as the other one, but really there's a lot of empty space in here. But So the first thing we got is the scenario book right on top. So this is a short 12 scenarios, so it's 12 pages. And they don't tell you, I don't believe, well I guess you can tell from uh, who the belligerents are in the in the combat, so this is this is Americans versus Germans. So this is obviously going to be for uh, Screaming Eagles. Um, now the maps may be from both. I I haven't checked that for sure, uh, but in fact I'm going to say they are because I think the maps for Screaming Eagles uh, are maps one through ten. So this is using thirteen, nine, or six. 13, 9, 14. So it's using a combination of maps. So you probably need to go ahead and have both if you want to get this one. So anyway, uh, like with all the all the uh, scenarios in the game, it, you know, it tells you a turn track, who has the initiative um, in each in those turns, uh, and then what your order of battle is for the for the game, your operations range, your command points, and your routing edges. So and here's your map layout. So first action, scenario 33, scenario 34, Grapes of Wrath. So a special rule, there are no roads. So no matter what map you're using in it, if there's roads on it, they're not actually roads. <sighs> All right, the Million Dollar Mountain is also uh, American versus German. I think there's six designed for each theater, or each half of the theater, 36, 37, 39 so there's our six for the Western Front. No, looks like uh, looks like Texas Arrows is going to be um, it's going to be all Americans versus Germans. It's interesting. So obviously you need you just need Ghost Panzer because you need the maps, I believe, and maybe some of the units, some of the German units that you wouldn't have had in the other game. So you get 12 scenarios in this. And you're gonna get, I have to tip this over here. Get that stuff out, it's so deep of a box. So you're gonna get two copies of the player reference card, version 2.2, in case you've lost the ones in the base game, which you have to have the base game, so. There's that. You're gonna get, we've got a sheet of counters. These are, these are units. So this is counter sheet one of two. And you see it's only a half sheet, the rest is blank. But instead of giving, I think they used to give you just a half sheet, now they just give you all these blank counters so you can save those to make your own counters for other games. So we've got German, some Russian counters, and... Now, in, in the original issue of Texas Arrows, you can't, this came with errata counters, but since they're reprinting the deluxe editions, I don't know that they've included errata counters anymore. For sure. And we got one sheet, mostly American forces, the Texas, Texas Arrows. And then a few German 
eight of these. You get two sheets of counters. They are pre-rounded, so they're not the strips like they used to be that you had to, uh, to uh, round the corners to make them neat. But these are pre-rounded and pretty, pretty darn good quality, very thick. All right, and it looks like we've got one map board, map 25. Which is a city, large town with a variety of different buildings. And on the reverse is a big hill, 26. Looks like it's three, three layers deep. And that's it. So if you pick up a copy of the deluxe edition of Texas Arrows in the Band of Brothers series from Worthington Publishing, you're gonna get that one mounted map board. You're gonna get two sheets of very nice pre-rounded counters, one and a half sheets of counters, and then one half sheet of blank counters. Two copies of the version 2.2 reference card and a 12 page scenario book all in this beautiful box with this beautiful artwork. And that is everything you get in Band of Brothers Texas Arrows from Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!